In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the issue where the Riot client won't open or launch up. Now, there is no one solution that will work for everybody, so you will need to go through each of these methods to find the solution that works for you. Now, the very first thing you need to do is head over to your desktop, and we're going to come to the Start menu and just search for Task Manager, and then come over to the Task Manager tab. So, in the Task Manager window, what you need to do is come over to the search box at the top here, and we're going to search for Riot, and you just need to ensure that no references of Riot client are running in here, and if if you can see the Riot client inside of here, you just simply need to right click on it and come over to end task and make sure everything's shut down inside of here so there shouldn't be any processes running. And once you've shut down all of these processes, we can then head out of the task manager window and we're going to come over to our desktop here and locate the Riot client app. Then we just need to right click on this app and come into properties, head over to the compatibility tab from the top here and just ensure that disable full screen optimizations is ticked and also run this program as administrator. And then you can just press apply and OK to save your changes and then we're going to try launching the Riot client to see if that's fixed the issue. Now if that hasn't fixed it for you the next thing you need to do is come over to the start menu and we're going to search for Windows Defender and then just come over to the Windows Defender firewall here. Select allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender firewall on the left and then press this change settings button at the top here and you need to ensure from this list of applications that we have our Riot client in here. So as you can see down here my Riot client's already added to this list of exceptions and you just need to make sure both private and public are ticked over here. Now if you don't have Riot Client within this list, say for instance if I just remove this for a second, then what you'll need to do is come over to allow another app, head over to browse and then we need to locate the Riot Client from our list of applications. Now if you're not sure where the Riot Client is saved, then a simple way to find it is just to right click on the Riot Client on your desktop, come into open file location and then we can copy all of this text at the top of this window here. We can come back into this folder and then just paste all of this text we just copied and hit enter. Then you just need to double click on the Riot Client Services.exe file, click on add, and as you can see, that's now added the Riot Client to the list. Once again, just make sure both private and public are ticked here, and then we can hit OK. You can then close out of this window, and the next thing you need to do is come back over to the start menu, and this time we're going to search for CMD, and then just right click on the command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. Now, another reason why you might not be able to open the client is due to connection problems, and a good way to fix this is just by typing inside of here IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. And then also type in net sh space winsock space reset and hit enter. And this is just going to clear all of our network cache. And then we can close out of this window and you can try relaunching the Riot client and that should have now fixed any opening issues you were experiencing. If you still can't open the Riot client, then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this video did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.